guys, welcome back to my garage. Um, today I thought we'd do something different um, for everybody who only has one dumbbell or a single kettlebell. I'm going to uh, work out that incorporates uh, that. I haven't repaired anything. I'll be uh, figuring it out on the fly so you will get a little bit of insight or, you know, um, yeah. a peek behind the curtain. Um, you'll have to excuse me if I take a bit of time uh, it, sometimes it's a bit tired to think up new things, uh, or it's a little bit difficult to think up new things when you're tired. Uh, like I said, I didn't prepare anything, so uh, I just thought I'd make up a few rules for myself. So uh, the first rule is every exercise needs to incorporate the, the dumbbell. Um, the second one is uh, we're going to hit every muscle group uh, at least three times. Um, and not do any of the exercises uh, or not repeat any of the exercises. So don't do the same thing twice. Um, I'm going to follow my usual protocol where I uh, don't do the same muscle group three times in a row, although we'll do three sets. So uh, we'll do, uh, for instance, shoulders and then do everything else, come back to shoulders, do everything else, come back to shoulders again, and then do everything else. So uh, there'll be long, long breaks between between uh, the, the exercises. So uh, equipment, uh, I'm grabbing a moderate weight dumbbell, something uh, that should be easy enough to lift the head, of course, otherwise you won't be able to do it. Um, if you have something that's really light, that's cool. If you have something that's very heavy, not so cool, that's fine. Use what you have, um, just make your reps be a little bit lower, do fives or sixes if you can't do tens. Um, if it's lighter, just do the same amount. I'm going to try and hit like uh, 10 reps. Uh, of course, with a, with a kettlebell, any kettlebell will do. Instead of uh, holding the dumbbell like you would uh, normally, you'll just be holding your kettlebell. Uh, I'm not going to spend too much time explaining all the exercises. Uh, I want to try and bust this out in half an hour. Uh, uh, and yeah, if you want some more explanation about proper technique and stuff, uh, uh, just go and check out some of my other videos. Uh, there'll, there'll be a little tag up here somewhere. Anyway, so let's get going. Um, just check something quick. All right, already getting excuses. <laughs> Uh, let's get going, guys. Um, let's start with the top of the shoulders. Uh, let's do a uh, what I call um, uh, shopping bags. So what you're going to do is just grab the dumbbell. Always start with your weak side first. You're just going to pick it up like you would a bag, a heavy bag like this. Just lift up like this, right? You're going to do 10 the one side and then 10 the other side. All right, left side first, feet nice and shoulder width apart, nice and stable, lifting up, one, squeeze at the top, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, other side, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. All right, that's a nice uh, shoulder exercise that uh, works your traps, uh, your uh, the, uh, your posterior uh, deltoids, which is the back bit of your shoulder, and of course there's a little bit of a forearm and uh, and bicep in there as well, but that's not the main focus, that's just an added benefit there. All right, we're going to give it, let's try and uh, say 30 seconds between, between sets there, so another 10 seconds. Uh, next we'll do calf raises. All right, so what we're going to do is the side that you're going to go, just hold it on your shoulder like this, right? Elbow forwards, 
you're going to lean onto the side, each side first, of course, and just stand on your tippy toe when you do it. Stop my watch there. Ah, lifting up. Left side first, stand on your tippy toe. One, two, now you put your hand on your three, so you don't have it dangling on. Four, five, six, seven, eight. You'll see that I'm shifting my weight away and then onto my foot again. Nine, ten, that might have been eleven. Who gets? Other side, elbow forwards, nice and stable. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, last one, ten, big squeeze, nice. All right. Okay, so now we're going to back, go back to the upper body. We're going to do our back. Uh, we'll do uh, a row instead of uh, doing it the normal dumbbell rows, which we'll do later. We'll do the uh, dumbbell row with both arms first. Because you're using both arms, it's going to feel a bit, a bit lighter. Hold your dumbbell like this. All right. Feet nice and wide apart, half squat, upper body, 45 degrees, chest out, head looking forward so that it keeps your back straight, then go like this, All right? Let your arms down low, pull it up to your stomach, elbow stuck, and squeeze your shoulder blades together as if you're squeezing a pencil. All right, here you go, go. Looking up, one, two, three, Four, squeeze at the top. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Nine. Okay, so uh, next we'll go downstairs again into the quads. Uh, let's get the get the big daddy out of the way. We'll do a squat. If you've watched my uh, other videos, you'll know if you want the proper foot position, just pretend you're going to jump. It's going to be a little bit wider than shoulder width. Close pointing slightly out, not 45 degrees, not forwards, just slightly out. Nice and stable, all right? And you go down, again, push out your chest, all right? Keep looking up so that you don't round your back and up again. We are going to hold the dumbbell like this next to your chest. Gonna go down, touch your uh, elbows to your knees, and back up again. All right, let's do it. Grab the dumbbell, nice and stable, close to your chest. Bring down and up. One, squeeze at the top. Two, three, four. Squeeze your butt and your quads at the top. Five. Six, seven, eight, nine, last one, ten, good work. Okay, let's the board here, okay. We are going to be going back upstairs again. Now we're doing, doing a chest exercise. Under different rules, different circumstances, I will always say just do push ups, the best uh, chest exercises, especially if you include all the variations like diamonds, etc. But because my, one of my rules is that my push ups have to include the dumbbell <laughs> in one way or another, we're going to do, when we do push ups, we're also going to include the dumbbell. But for now, let's do something like just to warm it up. We're going to do pullover and press, right? So, again, holding your dumbbell, both, both arms, straight arms, 
going down, lifting up, touch your chest, and up, squeezing at the top. All right. Lifting up. Going down, touch the ground, up, down, squeeze your shoulders together, one. Squeeze, two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Hey, that squeeze at the top where you squeeze your shoulder blades together or your shoulders together at the front. Nine is the most important bit. Don't just lift up, squeeze at the top. Ten, slowly down above your head. All right. Okay, so we've done shoulders, we've done calves, we did back, we did quads, we did chest. All that's left now your abs. I'm not going to do pull-ups or anything like that because you can't really do it with a dumbbell unless you have a belt and a chain to hang it, which uh, most of you don't have, so I'm just going to skip that one up for now. So again, um, there are different um, ad variations I would do without the dumbbell, but because my rule says I have to use the dumbbell, we're going to use the dumbbell. Um, figure something out. All right, let's do twisties, right? So what I want you to do is lean back 45 degrees in this one. You can lean forward a little bit. If you lean forward a little bit, you'll activate the top part of your of your ab abdominal muscles, uh, the top bit of the six pack. Cross your legs, feet off the ground. Hold the dumbbell, both hands, touch the ground to the side. We're going to count to 20. So each time you're going to count, you're going to count to 20. Starting on, on my right side, so that my left side, my weak side, is the side that starts working first. All right. Starting the old watch there, feet off the ground, lean back 45 degrees, and touch the ground on the right hand side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, eight, one, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Alrighty. So, we've gone through once. We have to go uh, through it another couple of times. Do the whole body. So, we'll start off with the shoulders again. This time, the big daddy with the dumbbells. Shoulder press. When you do this one, just hold your dumbbell or your kettlebell like this, don't go to the side, <coughs> elbow pointing forward, you're going to lift up, get it so you see my hand properly in the hand position, when you lift up, when you almost get to the top, just twist so that your palm faces forward, squeeze so that your arm goes behind your head, nice and high, and then come back down with your shoulder in front of you, it's all the way up, palm facing forward, squeezing, lifting up high, and come back down again, again, starting with your left hand side or whatever, whichever side is your weak side. All right, grab the dumbbell. Let's go. Elbow forwards. All right, shoulder width apart with your legs. Uh, you can put your hand on your hip if you don't like it dangling on. Let's go. Squeeze. One. Two. Slowly down. Three. Four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, last one, ten. All right, other side. I'm going to turn to the side for this one. Remember, elbow forward, feet shoulder with the part. Let's go, squeeze at the top one. Two, 
almost be behind your head at the top. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. All right, slowly down, don't drop it. Here you go. All right, those shoulders. Let's go back to calves. This time we're going to hold the dumbbell in front of us, both hands like this. We're going to use uh, both feet, toes pointing straight forward, shoulder width apart, and just stand on your tippy toes. Let's do 20 of those because it's nice and easy, and nice and light. All right, all right, hold like this close to your chest, elbows down. All right, shoulder width apart, toes pointing straight forward, keep looking up. One, two, three, four, nice squeeze at the top. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. See, ten more, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, ten. All right, slow me down. All right, okay, so there were shoulders, calves. We do quads again now. Have to, has to be something with a dumbbell. Uh, let's do lunges. Right, so normally with a kettlebell, I'd uh, lunge with the kettlebell on the side that I'm going to be lunging. Right, up and the same side 10 times. Just to make it more interesting this time, I'm just going to hold the dumbbell over here instead of down to the side. <laughs> you can, uh, uh, if you want to follow along properly with this one. If, and you have a kettlebell, hold it up here. Don't uh, don't hang it, dangle it down like you normally would. All right, let's go. All the same side, elbow pointing pointing forward. All right, just go down, do a lunge. I'll land on the hip. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Side. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Slowly down. All right. to go upstairs again. I think now we'll do dumbbell rows. So with the dumbbell row, we just switch sides, row with the one side and the other side. I normally stand in a lunge position, a little bit, a little bit uh, nice and wide stance like that, leaning down, looking up, chest forward and rowing elbow tucked, don't go like this, elbow tucked, pulling it to your navel, your stomach, again like this, the lower down you go, you bend forward, the lower down in the back, you actually use your muscles, I like to keep it at about 45, 45 degrees, you can also stand with your feet parallel to each other, and row like this, it just uh, triggers those muscles, activates the muscles slightly differently, it's up to you which one you want to do. 
Right, starting with the weak side first. Again, see the dumbbells in line with my front foot. All right, keep looking up. All right, don't touch the ground, just to the bottom. You don't even lock out at the bottom, almost straight and pull up. Let's go, squeeze at the top, shoulder blades together. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Squeeze that pencil. Ten in between those shoulder blades. Swapping around. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Slowly down. There we go. Alrighty, so now we need to go downstairs again. Shoulders, calves. Uh, did I get confused now? Doesn't matter. We did quads for a second one. We need to do chest and abs. So we'll do abs now, yes? Abs and then we'll do chest. Okay, so for this ab one, we are going to do the one where we normally just have our hands up. And we're going to hold the dumbbell, right? So you can hold the dumbbell like this. Sit up and down. This should be fun. All right, straight arms sitting up. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Slowly drop it down into the side. Right. Abs. And now chest. Make this nice and interesting with a chest one. We'll do uh, push ups on the dumbbell. All right. How do I explain this now? <clears throat> Whatever way you can, put your hands on your dumbbell. Right. It's almost like a diamond. And up. remember to have your elbows tucked to your body. Third day to flare out. <laughs> Try to anyway. Right. Uh, if you struggle to do that, you can hold it like this as well. Otherwise, just normally do a normal push up. My dumbbell is uh, big enough so that my hands actually fit nicely onto it. So uh, just figure out a way that you can do it. But make it, try and do it so that you actually put your hands on the, the, the dumbbell when you're doing it. All right. Let's go. One straight body. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, that was shoulders, calves back, quads, chest and abs, I got the sequence mixed up, doesn't matter, we did everything, now we need to go through it again, alright, so for the last shoulder one, uh, what can we do next, I think we'll do uh, a modified lateral raise, now normally with lateral raises, you'll just stand, keep your arms straight, go back right dumbbell may be a little bit heavy for that so little secret if you bend your arms a little bit it makes it a little bit lighter and if you start in front of you that also helps bending down just slightly and bend your elbow up very important bit is if you do decide even if you do a lateral raise 
and you bend your elbow to actually pull your elbow so that it's behind you. Otherwise, you'll be doing that. And that's not as effective as doing that. All right? So, go shoulder width apart. Starting in front. No. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right. <clears throat> Next, I mean, you do calves again. Uh, let's hold the dumbbell again in front of your body, but now let's do little ballerinas, toes pointing out 45 degrees, and heels together, squeezing at the top. Let's go. Squeeze one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's do ten more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten. Whew, I have to do a big pause there at number 11 or 12. Almost fell over. Balance is part of the exercise. All right, so shoulders, calves. Let's do the back now again. All right, let's do, uh, uh, let's do flies. All right, same as the shoulder thing. Oh. Uh, I want you to uh, stand with your feet uh, parallel to each other like that, right? One hand uh, on the opposite leg and then flying backwards. It's fine if it goes 45 degrees up, right? Bend down like that, chest forward. It doesn't have to be all the way up. This is quite heavy. If you have a heavy dumbbell, don't worry about it. All right? Try and keep your body straight. Squeeze your shoulder blades together at the top. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Other side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten. Ow. Okay. Almost done. All right, so now we're going to have to do the quads again. We'll do uh, uh, so what we're going to do now is actually a bit of a shoulder exercise as well. We start off from the ground, right? Going to pick up explosively and shoot over your head to the ground again. Remember, this is a leg exercise. So this bit first before you straighten your upper body. Don't go like, you know, laziness. Go explosively up. Keep looking up the whole time. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, 
Eight, don't push on your hand. Nine, ten. Four is now other side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten. That was a nice one. Awesome. All right. Now back to chest. <laughs> it's only chest lift. And then abs. So with this chest one, we're going to do push-ups. With your one hand on the dumbbell, the other one on the ground. And then swap it over. Let's do five and five. I know not everybody can do a million push-ups. So what I mean by that is <coughs> we'll be doing a push-up like this, right? All the way down and up. When you're done five, just switch over to the other side. Put the dumbbell in the other hand. Right, get down the ground, straight body. Down, touch the ground. One, two, three, four, five. Six. Oops, swap around. I'm gonna do 12. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right. Okay, abs. That's the last one we can do. And also incorporate abs. All right, okay, so this is the first bit, what you call a Turkish get up. All I want to do is flat on the ground, feet flat, all right, dumbbell in your hand. Of course, I'm going to start by the weak side. All you're going to do is you're going to sit up and go like this, and back down on the side. Hands, one hand, raising yourself, feet down, just pushing up. See that this hand is flat on the ground. Play with my arm like this. It'll be up, push, and down. All right? Starting with the weak side first. All right. Feet on the ground, ground, and on the ground, sitting up. One. This is very heavy. Two. Three. Oh. Okay, other side. One. Two. Three. Four. quite make 30 minutes but very close hope you enjoyed it quick little workout with a dumbbell got a little confused in, in the middle there but that's fine we still made it we still hit, hit everything so we uh our three rules every exercise use the dumbbell we didn't repeat any exercises and we hit every, hit every uh, muscle group three times done deal all right guys see you next time yes The workout doesn't want to end.